What do you think of all the police here at the moment? I mean, they should go home and get a real job. Also, I don't know how they sleep at night while supporting genocide. Come on, man. We should be on our side. I mean, there was no any more criminals in London to have so many police officers just all here for us. There must have been like all the gangs are gone and all the criminality are gone because they're all here for us. And that makes me feel very safe about the area. The, re the reason why the police are here is simple. This is a rich, wealthy area. And they are here to protect the rich and wealthy people. And it doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they're oligarchs or not. They will protect them because that is what they do. First they protect the capital and then eventually the people. Do you have a message for Boris Johnson? We have a lot of messages from Boris Johnson. I don't know where to start with. Yeah, we don't know where to start. I mean, first of all, fuck you. Fucking fuss quack. Boris Johnson is an oligarch. His party is his party is protected by oligarchs. The man Oleg Depreska, who who the, the sanctioned oligarch who owns this building, has connections to the Tory party. The Tory party, we, we, we don't call billionaires in the West oligarchs, but they are. They have an undue influence on our political system. They are warmongers and they deserve the same vitriol as oligarchs from Russia. We stand up against oligarchs everywhere, and we stand up for oppressed people everywhere. Do you have a message for Putin? Uh, yeah, we do. It's over here, actually. It's uh, in Ukrainian and in English. Putin, go fuck yourself! What do you think of the Afghanistan refugees? We are, 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 are this, we would like to open this building to all refugees. Refugees from Afghanistan, from Syria, from Yemen, from all the places that are devastated by war. We would like to open this building up to Russian refugees. People have had to flee Russia because of their political beliefs, because of their sexual orientation. People that have suffered under Putin. We extend our solidarity to all the people oppressed in the war, really. Everyone, we are united. We stand against despots, and we stand against the people who back them up. Us being in this mansion is a victory, but it is only the first victory. There will be more. What do you say to Pretty Patel and her hostile environment? I would, I would tell Pretty Patel to resign. I think the Home Office should be abolished for the harm it has caused various communities in this country. The Home Office is nothing but a, a racist joke, and so is Pretty Patel. The hostile environment is the very reason we are not open to Ukrainian refugees. And it is a blight on us as a society and a nation. And we should be ashamed of the hostile environment. We should be ashamed of what our government allegedly does in our name. And all of them, all of them, all of them, Rick Patel, Boris Johnson, the whole Tory party, and also all of Labour as well, and the Lib Dem, just all of the parliament. Yeah, they, they, are, they, they do not act. They speak, they preach a bunch of like empty, vacuous sentiments and sentimentalities about how war is bad, how we have to beat it up, but where is the action? We have action. And we are just regular, ordinary people. So shame on Britain, shame on our government. 